shows an attack on a woman and her child in the Metro East, charges against the attacker could be filed today. And what you'll see here is a group of people who are beating this woman at the Thomas Terry Apartments. And at one point, one of the suspects kicks a four-year-old girl. The woman and her daughter went to the hospital. Police say the child had minor injuries. The mother had a concussion and a sprain on her finger. Two adults and a 14-year-old were arrested. The message I want to give is that we all need to get along. Let's stop the violence. Let's stop the fighting. Um, we're supposed to be together, and we don't allow that down here. We are a peaceful town. The suspects are expected to be charged with mob action, aggregated battery, and battery to a child. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Anyway, yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again. Teach y'all another wonderful educational parenting life-saving video. And also, the reason why I say parenting, because some of these, you know, adults are lacking parenting skills. Just because you're old enough to have sex and you have a cookie or a wood, or if you may be a certain age, does not mean you're ready to be a parent. This is going to be one of those videos, I'm sorry, you might hear the word helpful quite a few times. So if it offends you, please cut the video off right now and go watch the Disney Channel or somewhere else. But if you're ready for this grown folk talk without the sex stuff, this is it. We have a story coming out of the way of Brooklyn. Yes, not Brooklyn, New York. By way of Brooklyn, Illinois. I didn't even know Illinois had a damn Brooklyn. But anyway, big shout out to everybody in the great state of Illinois. Everybody in Shot Town, everybody all over Illinois. Well, we have a mom who decided, well, allegedly they say, that she sent her children over there, her son, as you can see him, Dragonfly Jones, sent him over there and also with the three sisters and uh, basically jumped on this pregnant girl. Now, why did these bad kids jump on this pregnant girl? I do not know. But the fact, the woman was already pregnant and also had her daughter. And she was holding her daughter. There's a couple of videos out there. I wasn't able to find the first one. Well, she was holding her daughter. And when they jumped her, she dropped her child. And then that's when they proceeded to stomp her and punch on her. And then the son sitting in the background like he's Dragonfly Jones off of Martin. And jumped up in the air and kicked the little baby right in the head. And then the mom, out of all things, going to say, this was a damn mistake. Anyway, we're not going to tear it too long. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I'm going to get my opinion. All of it. Surely, as we go. Shameless. Yes, shameless. Helpful. Mama boy who booted Tyler in head and sick bra says, guess what? Accidents happen. Look at the bottom. Accidents happen. But guess what? Yes. Sometimes accidents do happen, but this wasn't no damn accident right here. This was intentional. Now, as you all can see, I couldn't show the video. You all might be saying, well, Trey, why are you showing the video? Because I'm not going to get my channel flagged for nobody. But if you want to see the video, just click the link below, and uh, it'll take you right to the website where you can watch it in all its glory. And it's done glorified about it. But that's the reason why I can't show the video. Now, I don't care what these other YouTubers do on their channel, but I'm not going to show nobody sitting up here. Fighting, especially children getting kicked in the head because I've got in trouble in the past about showing stuff like that until, you know, YouTube hit me on like, you know, you can't show that. Forget what these other people show. So if you want to see it, go watch them. But anyway, now as you all can see, the child was clinging on to her mom while her mom was getting stumped. And that's a very sad situation to see your mom get stumped like that. Now, picture if you was that child and everything. Picture you seeing your mom getting dealt like that. Then picture you on the receiving end of a foot to your face. I mean, that is not right for nobody. But the fact, this mom who goes by the name of Tasha Mac Meeks, sound like a helpful. Anyway, sound like somebody who will get you jumped too. But what kind of mom is that that you call yourself Tasha Mac? What kind of shit is that? Anyway, now, the child was right there beside the mom clinging on to her. And she let the mom go and everything. And she walked a little bit to the right side. That's when a boy, like, he was timing it. Just like he was terminating and stuff. He started using a little red out of everything. He locked in on the child, ran over there, jumped in the air like he was Jordan, and kicked the child right in the head. And then the mom will say, it was an accident. He meant to jump over the child. This is basically what she said, Miss Tasha Max, when she responded to some woman named Lindsay Hicks, when the Lindsay Hicks says, bitch-ass boy. Uh, Tasha Max basically said, watch your mouth. That's son. Well, what's wrong with your proper English is... That's my son. It should have been a proper pronunciation. Anyway, she says he didn't try to kick that baby. He tried to jump over the baby onto her. Yeah, he jumped right onto her right and made a mistake. That wasn't no damn mistake. All that was intentional. You cannot be sitting up there, time and waiting for somebody to move to the side, then run and jump and put your foot right in their face. 
That is no damn mistake. Who do you think we are, Stevie Wonder? I mean, even Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles and all their glory can see that this was intentional. Anyway, then she goes on to say, as y'all can see, the baby ran from under the girl fighting while he was coming down. My kid is not the type to kick a baby. Well, your kid is the type to kick a baby because that's exactly what the hell he did. After this happened, but the fact that this helper said accidents happens, and then all the threats stop, even though she wrote trees, she don't know how to write threats, I guess. This said his dad would be home in less than, what, 10 days, 30 days? Where the hell is he at in jail? Who gives a damn where his dad is? We don't give a damn. His dad can get the paws, too. That's how I feel about it, because you didn't give a damn about that pregnant girl, even though the dad don't have anything to do with this. I know that. But don't sit up there and try to say, well, his dad will be home like your dad. It's some kind of damn Robocop or some damn immortal or something. We don't care about all that. The fact is, you're a sorry-ass mammy. That's just what it is. Anyway, now footage of the shocking incident filmed in Brooklyn, Illinois, shows a boy kicking a toddler in the head doing a brawl between three females and a pregnant woman. Yes, a pregnant woman. Saying basically that these three females belong to Tasha May. Those are her daughters. And she sent these girls over there to fight this woman, allegedly. And also sent her son. And why would her son be there? It's quite strange that everybody in that whole clip would be related to each other. Anyway, the mom of a boy filmed kicking a toddler in the head during a sickening brawl has jumped to his defense saying he is not the type and accidents happens. Well, guess what, boo-boo? From the way that you... uh. Right and spell, I can tell, number one, you don't have no home training. You don't have no mom or no father in your life. You don't have anything like that. And the fact that you sit here and say that this boy dad will be home in less than what so many days. So his dad is in jail and you're going to put him in a position where he go back to jail because people is not going to let this go. I don't know what you think this is, but people is not going to let this go. So you putting the dad in another position. I mean, damn, what is wrong with certain people? Anyway, now footage of the shocking incident filmed in Brooklyn, Illinois shows a confrontation between three females and a pregnant woman outside a home alongside what is understood to be her young daughter. Poor little girl right there. And my heart goes out to the little baby and also to the unborn child in the pregnant woman's stomach and also to the pregnant woman herself because you could have killed that woman out there stomping on her like that. And then the fact after the boy was stomp on the daughter, well, drop kicked the daughter in the head. He would proceed to go over there and kick the mama in the head also. So I guess, oh, that was a mistake also, huh, Miss Tasha Mack? Anyway, in the clip, the little girl could be heard crying and clinging to her expected mom as she falls to the ground while being punched and kicked and having her hair pulled. It's a damn shame right there. And the fact that you dumbasses will record this and then get mad when people come in on it. You shouldn't make the damn video, put it on social media, and then expect people like they're going to praise you like, oh, you did that. You beat that baby up. You beat that mama up. Nobody's going to sit up here and sing you praises on a damn dummy. But do they? Because guess what? Karma is real, and what you do will come back to you in this world, one way or the other. Whether it's going to be you get stumped out, Tasha, or your daughters, or your son one day, it's going to come back tenfold. So get prepared for that. Get you some life insurance and some health insurance. Anyway, the boy being defended by his mom is then seen landing a kick to the tallest head as he jumps into the brawl and also into the air. He jumped high as hell. Little man should have been somewhere practicing for basketball, football, or something like that, or doing track. Instead of out here kicking on babies. Anyway, the footage has attracted widespread criticism on Facebook after it was shared and watched more than 227,000 times. And guess what? Even though you may have took the video down, Tasha, and you may have deleted your account or deactivated or, you know, uh, put it on private or whatnot, the fact is we still know your name. And guess what? You just may be getting a knock on your door real soon. Anyway, let's finish up. The fact that everybody started coming at her about her children and her son that's when she decided to stick up for him. The remarks prompted the mom to stick up for her son. She wrote, watch your mouth, that's son. Not nah, that's my son. I mean, that, what kind of female is this? He didn't try to kick that baby. He tried to jump over the baby on top of her and made a mistake. Like, now, that don't even make no sense what she just wrote. Now, now, think about this. She said that he tried to jump over the baby onto her and made a mistake. So what did he try to do? Did he try to jump over the baby or... Did he do exactly what we've seen him do? People, number one, what I want to tell you all, stop letting your eyes deceive you. Stop watching stuff on TV, on video, and then somebody come back and tell you that you ain't seen what you just saw. They did that with, what, 9-11. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you all do your own research on that. But stop sitting up here seeing something, and then somebody come back and tell you that it happened. we seen what happened. He waited. And it's bad enough to fake you can't even explain why, number one, why your children over there jumping on this woman. And allegedly, it's being the word on the street is that you sent them over there 
but the fact that your son will wait until the little girl starts clinging on her mom, moves to the side, and he runs over there, times it perfectly, jumps in the air, and puts his foot right in that little baby face. Explain that. But I guess that was a mistake too. Anyway, let's finish up. And she also says, the mom, Tasha Mack, says, as y'all can see, the baby ran from under the girl fighting while he was coming down. What the hell is that? No, it's not. It's a damn lie. And all y'all asses need to be arrested for that. Anyway, people, you all let me know what you think about this story. It's a sad situation that we have a mom now. And some of these moms just as bad as these guys is. I mean, there's no difference no more. But imagine if that was your sister. Or imagine women, if that was you out there getting stumped on by somebody. And then your little baby is with you. And you have a little baby in your stomach. But your little baby is with you, just like a baby going to be. And some little heifer, some little dude or whatever, runs over there, jumps in the air, kick your child right in the face. Now imagine if that baby would have had a concussion or broke that baby's neck or broke that baby back. It's a sad situation. You all let me know what you think in the comment section about this. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends. And hopefully, if the Lord said the same, that we can have justice for this young mom and also for her baby because this is not right and i'll not wish this on nobody i'm not gonna sit up here and uh say that your children deserve death because it's not that serious but at the same time some people will kill you over stuff like that or lesser anyway let me know what you think in the comment section you all have a blessed day and i'm out